Hello world! It's me, Derek. How's everybody doing right now? It's been a little bit since I streamed. A lot been going on in the world and in our world. Uh, but I'm back here and usually we start at 4 o'clock. I assure you we start at 5 o'clock today because we were uh, working hard on a script. I want to say right off the bat, uh, we had a new video go out last week. We got a new video up on our Patreon right now. And then uh, we are working on another video right now that's coming after that. So a lot happening to stop skeletons from fighting world right now. But I'm Derek. You're watching me. And we are over here going to be playing some Gurgle's Quest 2. Uh, Gargoyle's Quest 2, but as I've always called it. Because I've been enjoying this game since I was a young little lad. Gargoyle's Quest 2. If you ever make a video about Gargoyle's Quest 2 or Gargoyle's Quest 1 on YouTube and you have to do voiceover where you say Gargoyle's Quest over and over again, you'll understand that the word Gargoyle's Quest is a, is, is a difficult phrase to say over and over again. So, yeah. Good stuff. So how- oh, is the music really loud? Well, I'm gonna turn it down then. It shouldn't be so loud. How is that? Turn down the Gurgles Quest. That Gurgles Quest too loud. What with the sub already? Thank you so much. Appreciate that so much, Pi. 1998-8. I assume there is some, some, some significance to August 1998 there. But... How's everybody's month been? How's everyone's week been? I hope you have been good. Uh, like I said, we've been staying busy. And I just want to get busy. I want to get onto this. So we have been playing Demon's Crest all month. Uh, we were not able to play Demon's Crest last Friday because um, our dog, who was over hanging out by uh, in the kitchen with Grace, our dog had a little, uh, had a tick on his eyelid. We needed to get that tick removed, and so we had to uh, get that. that. Unfortunately, that was right when the stream was going to happen. We're like, we need to get this taken care of pronto-like. So uh, here we are. But we've had our Demon's Crest uh, talk, our, our uh, podcast. So I figure we'll take a little uh, departure from Demon's Crest and go back one entry in the series. So we're going to talk about the Ghoul Realm here. You were born in August. See, I figured it out. I figured it out. Um, oh, thank you, Havoc Worm, for the cheers. Been watching me since the HVGN days. Well, thank you so much. Those are some old days. It's a long time ago. It's, it's, it's almost at this point. Uh, I've almost been doing Stop Skeletons about as long as HVGN. I've done more Stop Skeletons videos uh, than I did for HVGN videos, so that. All right, so in the ghoul realm, uh, before the humans, there lived a monster named Firebrand in a town of the ghoul realm, Etruria. To become a true warrior, Firebrand trained himself in the warrior's training center every day. But then one day... Welcome, Firebrand. Here is the specter's fingernail. You will have the honor of receiving this when recognized as a true warrior. It's time for you to go to the Warriors Training Center. And so this is a, a NES game ported straight to the uh, Game Boy. Uh, a thing that is like kind of a little more rare than you would think. Um, though Capcom did it quite often. Strangers have been wandering around here recently. You need to become a true warrior. ASAP Firebrand. Make sure to complete your mission. Do not disappoint King... what? Morak. Morakin. Yeah, the ghouls and... The, go, yeah, Ghosts and Goblins boss. Yes, this is uh, a spin-off of Ghosts and Goblins. So, uh, I mean, Firebrand is technically the big red gargoyle you fight, you know, in the first level. Just after the, uh, the, the, the you know, the... The 
big first big hill right before you get to like the windy part. I wonder what happens to them. Maybe they become humans. So right away, so I, I'm actually I I've only played up to this point just to, to make sure the ROM was working. Uh, this is a Super Nintendo, this is a regular Nintendo game, pretty accurately. Uh, representing the Nintendo game so far, except uh, you walk way slower out here. And the NES version, you fucking can haul ass. And uh, so far, this music sounds like it is about on par. Let's go to the music room. Oh, okay, the fight room on the right. The music in the uh, in Gorgos Quest 2 is fantastic. Training's too hard for me. Our gob's pot can be exchanged for Spectre's fingernail. Basically, you gotta learn how to fly. So, if you are playing along at home uh, with our uh, game club, uh, playing Demon's Crest, uh, you did not have to worry about the wing strength, which is a huge deal in this game. Oh! In fact, uh, some of the earlier levels are, oh no, oh no, are very difficult because uh, the, the lack of, of wing strength that you have. I gotta get that pot. Got it. That's all I gotta do. Of all the things to make a spin off about. Most likely un enemies in your mind. Yeah, I don't know where the hell they got the idea to make this game, but thank God they did it. Do you think Destroy All Humans Classic 1 and 2 are going to be on PC? Probably. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I, I actually have Destroy All Humans 1 and 2 on the original Xbox. I don't think I ever actually played them. I think I made some kind of snarky comment on Twitter when they uh, announced that this Royal Humans 2 is coming to Xbox or to, to PS4. I was like, who cares about that game? And then like, a lot of people were like, a lot of people, like, people were like, shut up. <laughs> people do like that game. I was like, oh, okay, all right, my bad. What's really fun about this level is I guess I didn't really explore the town much, but um, basically in this level we are playing, we're going through the whole village, and we're gonna eventually end up where we started at the uh, at the castle, uh, talking to the big uh, ghosts and goblins boss. I kind of always like that. It's kind of fun to like, oh, this is what the like gargoyle, like maybe Firebrand is is taking the long way home. And not just doing a straight shot to the castle because he wants to check up on everybody. But it's just kind of fun to think of that overworld we were on uh, a minute ago. This is what it looks like from his perspective. I think uh, that's just money. Ugh. And the only thing that you can buy with money is uh, more lives. Oh, geez. Which is... Uh, you will need... This game's got a couple of brutal early parts to it. You can really tell the screen difference, the screen size difference. Well, there's no reason to go down there anyway. No, I won't down there. Yeah, the thing about the first Gargoyles Quest, which was a Game Boy game, it was made for the Game Boy. Played a lot of Donkey Kong last week, and we can see how when you port a game to the Game Boy, and you don't really take for you don't know, take serious consideration for the screen size difference, you can have a Extremely different game. 
the mood to play Darkwing Duck on the NES. Darkwing Duck on the NES is a hell of a game. Uh, you should get the uh, Disney Afternoon Collection on like PS4 or something. Those are really solid ports. Also, get you some. If you do that, you also have a whole lot of Rescue Rangers and DuckTales. Also, this is supposed to be a Game Boy Color game, and I don't know, my emulator just got it on. I tried. It's actually a Game Boy Advance emulator. I don't know why it's playing in black and white. Doing that on my laptop too early. I don't know what the deal is, but I'll. I'll it's not a huge deal. One of these. Isn't there a secret? Oh, there it is. Yeah, extra, help. extra hit points. I'll take them. Oh, what? It has been a minute since I've played this game all the way through, but this is. Pretty much what I remember of the first level. Oops, come on, come on. These are my first impressions, by the way. I'm not sure if I made that clear. I've never actually played this port before. Shit. So far, so good, though, I think. Screen size is definitely an issue here. You can see a little more beneath you in the NES version. Ah, see? I feel like I wouldn't have, wouldn't have had that hit. Okay, cool. Not, not in a good position for this boss. Oh, what? Yeah, you can't jump. Oh, shh. <laughs> Hurry up, it's yes! I'll take it. <laughs> and here we are. I always liked that. I always thought that was really cool. You started over here, and you do the whole level, and ostensibly you just kind of go through the whole. Uh, village from that perspective. I thought that was fun. Uh, 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 Fire Brand. I'm gonna die. Take the Spectre's fingernail with you. Got the... ba -ba -da. An incredible power has built up in Fire Brand's body. Now he's super ripped. He's, he's, the, he's the buffest in the game. Can jump higher than anyone. Buff. Buffness. Go west, Firebrand, and get more buff. Oh, by the way, I've got, uh, I got my water here. If anybody wants to cash in their bones and make, uh, make me, uh, make everybody hydrate. It's hot. Also, I'm not sure if anyone's that brought this up. I'm wearing my, like, undershirt, tank top. It's hot. It's hot in here. This apartment gets hot. I finna stay comfortable when I do my streams. So, there we go. I think if you're watching me on stream, you want to get that, like, real Uncle Derek situation where, like, sometimes Uncle Derek, like, dresses down because he's got to take care of himself by trying to stay cool. I've been living in Seattle now for about five years. I'm still an Alaskan at heart, and I don't do good in the hot weather. 
I'm gonna go to, uh... Gibea? Gibea? I'm guessing if that was Japanese, it'd be... Like... Jebea? I don't know, but... King Bar! Guo! I'm gonna Guo! So... Didn't know Gargoyle's Tis 2 was on the Game Boy. This is, uh, yeah, this is a Japanese-only game, actually. And, uh, this is an English ROM that I found. So, I've never actually played this version. Everyone's dead! Except for this guy. Exchange ten vials of power. Sure. I don't have enough power. I think that they are just taking the script from the Nintendo game, which is totally fine. I have seven vials, but I have one Mystery Science Theater ROMs. I think it means I have one, uh, one life. I think one more and I'm, uh, I'm dead. It got an English release on Game Boy, it just never seen it in an actual store. Uh, this this did not. The uh, first one did. The uh, Gargoyles Quest Trilogy stretches over uh, Nintendo's various systems. Also, they got rid of the random battles in Gargoyles Quest 1, which, thank God, because it's just really... It's, it's not necessary. But kind of like doing overworld stuff is something that the Gargoyles Quest trilogy kind of struggled with all, all the way through. Is, that's a bad dude. Is there some shit down here, though? No. This is very impressive for the Game Boy. This is... It's supposed to be a Game Boy Color game. I don't know what's going on. But the Game Boy Color definitely had a little more space going on. Uh, yeah, this is my GBA emulator that I used last time, so. Yeah, I looked around, I didn't see anything, and I was like, yeah, it's fine. It's Friday, girl, I'm... It is! It's Friday, girl! Thank goodness. T-G-I-F. Thank girl, it's Friday. Yeah. Thank Grace. Thank Grace is Friday. Amazing Grace. handful of jumps early on that you, they give you extra wingspan and stuff but you have like just barely enough like power to get through them yeah now those spikes will take a hit off of me unless they've changed it uh that lava will kill you and that is an issue later on i assume all the same content as the nest actually we're, we're finding out right here uh I don't know the NES game quite that well. It's been a minute since I played all the way through, but like, uh, you move slower on the overworld, and I think for better or for worse, it looks like the uh, levels are exactly how they, how, as they are in the NES version with just a much smaller uh, window, which can be a problem. I think that will be a problem. It was once ruled by King Barb, but... The black light came over this town, and... Though I was struck by the light, the power of Maelstrom brought me back. But look at my ugly face. I would imagine that in, like, the ghoul demon realm, uh, like, no one cares about looks quite that much. Or people would care about looks, prioritized looks, so different, right? You got demons and ghouls and zombies just hanging out. Unless you're, like, you know, Firebrand here, buff as hell. 
There was a Japanese version of Gargoyles Quest 2, but we got the NES version. Well, no, I think we both got NES versions. Several years later, the Japanese got uh, a, a Game Boy Color port. Kind of like how the Japanese got a Game Boy Color port of Donkey Kong Land 3. I don't know. Kind of like a Konami released a bunch of uh, Castlevania games and stuff uh, for the Game Boy Color, um, only in the PAL region. And I, be I believe in Japan as well, but like, uh, there is a Game Boy Color port of, of uh, uh, Simon's Revenge, uh, Castlevania 2 Simon's Revenge uh, in PAL and uh, Japan, so yeah. 15. I don't have that much, man. How am I doing? Let's go back and where it's cheaper. Similar to Mario Bros. DX. Yeah, but uh, you can in, in Mario Bros. DX you can move the screen a lot. It it mitigates the issue. It doesn't fix it. But um, that was something that you cannot do in. Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Color. It has a super tighter screen uh, to, an, to an enormous fault, I would say. And you can't, like, hold up or down to, to look. Uh, which fucking sucks, man. Oh, if anybody watched uh, last Wednesday when I streamed Donkey Kong Country on Game Boy Color, I was able to off-stream uh, beat the minecart level um, without save states. I did it legit. Still a pain in the ass. Gotta break the barrier of King Bar to get there. Okay, so we got we gotta get some items so we can talk to the king. Is basically uh, what the deal is here. I think this is. Oops. I want to go there. I want to go. What is up here? I think we're gonna be in this area for a little bit. <laughs> Man, this game will always mean a lot to me because in like 95, 94, uh, my video store um, did a gigantic purge of all of their movies and NES games and stuff, I think, to make way for, you know, PlayStation and uh, N64. And I actually got this game uh, for $5. And I remember going there, and it was just like, Mom was like, okay, well, here's, uh, you know, I think she gave me like 20 bucks or 10 bucks. And she's like, all right, go through all of these games and pick out two that you want. I think I picked out this and Power Blade. But I just remember, like, um, oh, I do it with that password. I think I was in fourth grade at the time, and um, I think, like, that was in the summertime when that big purge happened, when they just got rid of all their stuff. And so I spent, like, uh, that summer, like, playing this game, and, uh, I had rented it a lot, so I knew it was good, but when I bought it, it was just like, oh my god, this game is, it was, it was like, this was the first time I was, like, buying games, and it was, it, it, $5 for, it was, maybe it was $10, but still, when I was, like, 10 years old, like, $10 for a game was, like, so cheap, uh, so to me, it was like, I'm just gonna rake some leaves, mow some lawns, and I was just, like, getting money, uh, any way I could, and I'd go back to the Video City, and I would... I have a handful of uh, NES games that still have big old stickers on them uh, from that sale. Could have come a little earlier. I make decent money selling it. I've done that. There's a handful of games that I uh, have bought for nickels and sold for dimes, you know what I'm saying? Did I go through River of Flames? Okay. So. There's like three areas I think we gotta do. If I remember correctly, if, if I remember correctly, we're in this area for a little bit. And this is the only place we can get a password for a little bit. So if we die, that's the only like kind of game over area we go to. So let's, let's explore around. Is there a guy to fight down here and we get some vials from him? Oh, I might just waste him. That's it. Yep. Big ol' nothing. It is weird to have such a big open world like this. 
and it be kind of for nothing? There's something over here, right? Okay, yeah, this dude. Going across the river. Yes. Oh, I got armor! Yes. So buff. Oh my god. Look at that, five hearts. Oh, that's right. Oh. This, these guys are fun. Gotta, gotta make a leap of faith there, jeez. Wow, this is much more difficult without, oh, shit. Usually you can see the next platform in front of you. All right. <laughs> okay, it looks like these guys don't start moving until they spawn on screen. So actually, maybe these jumps aren't so difficult. Okay, other than these, this is, this is maybe kind of easy. Famous last words. Like that's a wall right there. Okay, that wasn't painless enough. Music in this game is great. The first uh, Gargoyles Quest had great music too. For the record. Sidon. Sidon. This, this is Sideho. Sure. I thought that there were, like, dudes you could, like, farm and kind of grind and get, uh, get money. A Venus of the Night. Called Hectic What? Fell from the sky a long time ago. She was looking for some materials. The name of one of the materials was, let me see, the Night Drop. Night Drop. Wow, 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 wow. Is Night Drop a, a, a subgenre of music? It should be. Dubstep remixes to Gargoyle's Quest songs are officially Night Drops. The Gremlin Stick. Go to the cave of Gaza north of this place to see, uh, Hecate. Hecate. She must know something about it. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Do you ever gain additional wing power? Yes. You do eventually uh, get infinite wing power. I, th I think right before the last level, which is a lot of fun. Last level is like a really good like endurance um, level. Magic Buster can break rocks and Magic Tornado can help you fly. Yep. To the east of this town is the forest called Hinnom. They say there is a precious stone called the Night Drop. I should try and talk to him, but he just says yeah. This is side hope. Alright, I'm just, I will try not to hum along all the music in this game. Oh no, it's a slime guy! Oh no! Oh gosh. I think I get my health back anyway, so it's fine. Three vials.
That's enough to uh, get a thing. It might be really worth it to buy one right now. I kind of screwed myself dying so much of that first boss, so I think I'm just going to... Uh... Maybe you die when you... Or you lose all your stuff when you die? Well, we'll find out. I forget. Yeah, this level's pretty... This level's... There's a cave over to the left that we can't go to yet. Because I think it's a guy that's like, you don't have enough strength. Mm. But the beginning of that song is rad as shit. Everyone hydrate. Am I going to do a, a playthrough of Demon's Crest next? I, I actually have done a playthrough of Demon's Crest uh, this month. That was our game club day, uh, game for the month. We as a community play through it. And uh, we recorded the podcast, uh, our podcast discussion uh, this Monday. It is available on our Patreon for everyone to uh, listen to. So because I felt like... Whoa... We kind of set our piece and did our, our fun for Demon's Crest. I figured I'll do uh, kind of a, one of the side games tangentially related to Demon's Crest. This game is really missing the percussion that's uh, in the NES version. It's not too bad, though. Soundtrack is still pretty pretty good. Oh shit! Oh, I don't know why I went that way. there's an item over here if you want to just restart the whole level. Oh wait, I think I might have to because I don't think I can make that jump without hitting that spike. Shit. Alright. Yeah, okay, that was... Alright. Alright. Thank God I talked to that guy for the password because he's our checkpoint. Let's see. Cool, alright. We keep our, uh, our vials... So now we want to go and buy a Maelstrom. Where's the guy that sells those? You should design a new Ghosts and Goblins or Demon's Crest. The heel that did Wonder Boy and Streets of Rage. A second that. That Wonder Boy was a good looking game that I didn't think played all that great. Um, but then they went. Didn't they go ahead and make an original Wonder Boy in Monster World game uh, with that art style? Because I would play that. But they should remake the Genesis one. That was the one that I grew up playing. I really liked. Cool. All right. Now we got four lives. Dirk, rocking the black vest. This is just a tank top. This is... <laughs> I'm cosplaying a tank top tiger from One Punch Man right now. It's hot in here. And I'm staying I'm staying hydrated. I love Dragon's Trap. Dragon's Trap was is that the one they the, the remake that came out pretty recently? 
That game was all right. I don't know. I played it. Uh, I didn't grow up on that one. So when I got the, the PS4 version, uh, it was it was nice. I really, really liked the look of it, but I thought the gameplay was like... Again, I grew up playing the uh, the third one on Genesis, and that, that game's not, not quite the same league. Oops. How y'all feel about this new uh, Alex Kidd game coming out? Think about game sound soundtracks. Got to check out Tailgater from Natsume. Isn't that game actually called like Revenge of the Gator? But yeah, Natsume. They knew how to write some dingers back in the day. Typed in Dragon Trap. Got something different. You gotta make sure your Google searches are proper, man. One, one missed letter or apostrophe and suddenly you are in an area of the internet you'd not thought you'd get to. A few more years for N64 to get the full nostalgia treatment. I've been waiting patiently and I think we're just about getting there for low polygonal... Low, I want polygons to be the new... Um, Cause all right, about 10, 15 years ago, everything was like pixel-based graphics, throwback to pixel-based. It was so cool, right? Uh, and then like any game that has kind of had a looked like a Final Fantasy or a Zelda, it was just like, oh, that's so fucking cool. And it just kind of got boring and a little old pretty quickly. Um, but I think it stuck around. It stuck around longer because it was just a reality that like making pixel graphics is just. It's just easier if you're, like, an indie game. And, you know, there's just two people in a broom closet making the game. But, um, I'm waiting for low polygons to be the new indie game thing. And we're just about there, actually. Uh, a lot of a lot of games are bringing... I want, I want big, fat, round, sharp polygons. I want Virtual Fighter 1 shit. That's the stuff that I personally am excited to see. And we're seeing a bit of that now, yeah. So, like, N64 nostalgia, PS1 nostalgia, Saturn nostalgia. Usually this is a really, really difficult area. I recall on the NES this, that being a really difficult area. Okay, that's one of the few examples of, like, the small screen being actually a bit of a boon. <laughs> because usually you can see the other platform, and it's already moving, and you gotta, like, time your jumps correctly. Uh, not there, it looks like. Tailgater. Let me see. What is this tailgater then? I might, I might not be familiar with it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever uh, actually played this game before. But its Wikipedia page actually has a soundtrack section. Oh, it's very short though, but. Copious amounts of swing rhythm this game apparently Tailgater has. Cool. So, Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom, that's the new one. And they got Yuzo uh, Kiroshi. And a whole bunch, yeah, it's a bunch of people on the, on the composers. Awesome, yeah. I want new games like Maximo. Maximo's great. And Maximo was another spin off of the Ghosts and Goblins games. Mmm. God, I love the beginning of it. That beginning of this song is so good. Love that opening melody. It's too bad it doesn't really ever come back again. All right, I got four lives. This is a 
This is th this is what I was saying earlier. Like when you have like really small uh, wing strength early in the game, kind of makes makes it harder than some of the later levels. So I think for Mamani, this is one of the m most difficult levels in the game. much better. Also, I think because the screen size is smaller, those uh, kind of floating bug things aren't uh, respawning as fast. Whoop. Whoop. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Famous last words. Wait, where am I? Is this a new area? Wait. I don't remember this area. I thought I was supposed to go further down. Oh, okay. This is a... Okay. Hopefully this extra life is worth it. Holy shit! Damn! Big plays! Big plays! Have I played Last of Us 2 yet? No. I have not. I haven't even beaten Last of Us 1. Uh, I don't know, that game just didn't really... Something about, something about the, the gameplay, that game never quite clicked with me, I don't know. And, uh... Yeah, I thought, you know, that game was really nice and, you know, pretty and stuff, but like... I guess the intro to Last of Us 1 didn't quite hit me because it's like I've, I've seen zombie movies before the intro to last of us one i felt like they were trying really hard to like get me to be like man the real zombies are humans and i'm like yeah i, I know like <laughs> i guess spoilers uh the, the the tragic intro to last of us one i just it didn't do nothing for me and then something about the uh, gameplay just it never quite clicked with me so i never really got on the the hype train for The Last of Us, so I, I, I actually own the game twice over. I got the PS3 version kind of like, almost like day one, just because the reviews were so insanely good, so I was like, cool, I better get it. And then uh, I think I saw the PS4 version was like hella cheap one day, one time I got like Black Friday sale or something like that, and I think, uh, I'm like, yeah, I'll give it another shot, I'll play on the PS4, and both times it's never, I don't know, never quite clicked with me. I should go back to it, huh? And then, so, and then also, like, a lot of the hate that's going on, or just the... A lot of the... Oh, shit, what? Oh, the, the, the air stopped. The, uh, discussion around Last of Us 2, because I just was not really hyped down for it at all. It's just, I've just not been paying attention to it. Got, got enough shit going on <clears throat> in my, uh, personal life, and with work and stuff, so I just... You know, I only got so much energy to put my attention to so many things, you know. Currently playing through X-Men Legends 2. Man, I was actually thinking about... I have X-Men Legends 1. Uh, on the original Xbox, I think? And I, I was seriously like... God, I remember this game being like a very... Like, just boilerplate Diablo shit, which... Sometimes you need that, you know? Oh, you fucker. Oh, God! There we go. So I think this is a checkpoint. Or... I, I think I've hit the checkpoint, but yeah. Legends 2 was my favorite on the PS2. I've always wanted to get the GameCube version so I get that four player, but I have link cables, so. I realized 
nostalgia got me when I immediately went, I must pre-order for the new Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap, man. I'm like so cautiously optimistic about oh shit what what a new po what a, what the hell a new Pokemon Snap is gonna look like because I worry it's just gonna be on rails and just the, like the N64 game again which would be okay but I've always felt like Pokemon Snap is a proof of concept that deserves to be developed more and what we got was great but it could be better damn I got all the way to this boss without dying holy shit oh I, I, I thought I was I thought I was uh, on the ground I was not Wasted. Oh. I don't think he normally goes in the wall like that. There we go. Here's really here's the hack. And then when he blows out. Do they even hit me yet? Isn't there a second platform over here? Okay. Got him. Oh. I drop. Something very powerful. Oh, getting so buff. Got the magic bluster. Or is it it's colloquially referred to? The Magic Buster! I used to love, back in the day, playing Halo 2 on Xbox Live, uh, repping Grove Street and calling people Busters. And how they would just get so mad. It was so funny. Because <laughs> GTA San Andreas and Halo 2 came out, like, basically, like, back to back. Like, about a week or two away from each other, something like that. It was like Half-Life 2, GTA San Andreas, ha Halo 2, all within like a couple of days of each other. It was nuts. But just yelling out, Grove Street! <laughs> and calling people busters. Oh, to be young again. Mm. Oh, we gotta got crank it for this. This track right here is a fucking dinger. Magic Buster sounds like a rejected weapon from Mega Man. Like, Dr. Light is like, screw science. I got magic. The Mega Buster? I got something that defies science. The Magic Buster. Let's get some fucking vials. Let's get paid. Shit, it's payday, homie. got flashbacks this dungeon and this area kind of reminds me of sweet home oh god i was thinking about sweet home the other day i think because i mentioned it in the video uh yo sweet home's so good i have the night drop in your hands now i can make the candle of darkness use this candle of darkness at the center of this room Kindle. The 
the whole place was blacked out. It was the black light that sealed King Bar's magic. It's the kind of destructions army. Only the gremlin stick can dispel the king of destructions. Evil magic! Use the gremlin stick before King Bar and his magic will be released. Yo, hey, social distancing, okay? The gremlin stick is in the ruins which lie deep within the desert. Sit, sitin, sit him. Cool. Got wings! How can the buffest gargoyle get more buff? It's your boy, fire buff. Getting, getting buff with these, these gargoyles right here. Oh my god! Kadikaris! What are you doing? What are you doing to me? More friends? Thank you. What the fuck Pokemon is this? Uh, not quite. This is this is a Nintendo game on the Game Boy. And this was a Japanese-only game. This is an English ROM of it. This is a Capcom game. So, this, this actually, this ain't no Pokemon. This looks like Sweet Home or Destiny of an Emperor? Your, your correct response is, what Breath of Fire game is this? Uh, and this is Breath of Fire brand. How about that? Getting raided. Thank you so much for the raid, bro. Come on, bro. Dude. Thank you. Appreciate that. How's everyone doing on a Friday? I'm chilling out. I'm, uh, I'm relaxing. Drinking lots of water. I'm sitting here in my, my, my undershirt. <clears throat> my tank top. Cosplaying as tank top tiger. Low key, the best character from One Punch Man. Uh, it's hot. It's hot in this apartment, so you're getting like dressed down, relaxed Derek right now. I also want to get these vials. I'm trying to get, trying to get this money so I can buy more. Am I drunk? I am not. I am. It. I'm on. I'm high. I'm drunk on Friday. Uh, it's been a week. It has been a couple of weeks for me. Um, ha couldn't do the stream last week because my dog was sick, uh, and then you know chose to not stream uh, the other day. Uh, it is Friday. Time to get drunk. Yeah. I need to go. I, need, I will need to go in and, and, and procure some adult beverages. I think at the moment we were actually out. Wait. I also need to get the proper way to get out of here. Get drunk, my friend. It's Friday. Yeah. It's gonna fucking chill out. But right now, it's... Gas day hydrated. There was a, a night a week or so ago where I did, in fact, get very intoxicated. And, I, and before I went to bed, I drank basically this entire thing. This is like 64 ounces of water right here. And I was not hung over the next day. So if you go and drink, you better stay hydrated. Ugh. I didn't say that's hot. I said it's hot. How dare you twist my words? I, I ought to double ban you for that. I got the wings of a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. With those wings, I'll be able to fly over Gaza's Valley. So if this game is anything like the damn Nintendo version, th this, this area has one jump that is like pixel perfect. I'm not looking forward to doing it. I have four Mystery Science Theater ROMs. So those are actually uh, my life. My, 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 I have level three live. I have four lives. That's how that's breaking down. Here we go. Oh, God, is, it, is, is it the first? The first jump? Yeah. So you have to jump like <sighs> shit. You know what? You know what? All right. Doing a safe state. Doing a safe state. Just because 
There's a lot of backtracking of all if you don't make this jump. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Ugh. I will sing the praises of Gargoyle's Quest 2 all day, boy. But let me tell you, dude, this this jump right here sucks. Thank you for that cheer. Oh, for the Kenji Kenji Eno and the D trilogy. Appreciate that. How big is the game window on my actual monitor? Oh, it's not very big. I mean, I mean, I can't make the field of view any bigger. You can make this jump. I do know it is possible, but like, yeah. Let's load. So I think if, I, if I'm technically like on the wall, that starts me like a little closer. Yeah. No, I, I can't make this jump. Yeah, I, I, I his, you, you can't even get into this um, area until you have the right uh, wingspan. Focus, focus camera, seeing you. Um, yeah, he won't even let you in unless you have the item to do it. Whoa! Okay. Oh, I have an idea. I got an idea. Got an idea. Got an idea. Alcohol? <laughs> no, not yet. There it is. You gotta piecemeal it. Ah! Ah! Jerk. Yeah, I don't think there's any more jumps like that. Oh, shit. Hey, how am I doing? Zero lives left. Well, poof. Poof from the butt, but... S jank rank uh, S an S rank jump. Thank you. Plus it's Japanese only. Unless you get the right. Yeah, I get this is a hack ROM too. Oh thank you. Noth OS. Not hose. Uh three others. Thank you. Yeah. Only hose. So long as we are spread across different area codes. Okay, so I think that I think that is where we're supposed to go. Um, yeah, let's get some more vials that are useless to me right now because I don't have any place to uh, spend them. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to go to the castle or to the cave. I'm gonna go to this cave first. I feel like the castle's definitely where he's supposed to go. Check this out. Dude, is this new? What? There's no ice level in Gargo- What? This is a new level! Right? I must be crazy. This is- There's no ice level in Gargoyles Plus 2 on Nintendo. What? Because the slip and slide mechanics are all over Demon's Crest. Like this thing? I like how that doesn't make any sense. He has like claws. He's digging into the wall when he's like sideways. How is he then sliding down? Doesn't quite make sense, but whatever. Video game logic. Woo, buddy! So this is totally a new level, man, right? That is really cool. I did not realize that ah, they had like extra content in this. That's so fucking cool. I feel bad that I've never played this until now. I grew up playing the Nintendo version. Waited until my damn 30s to uh, get this 
Game Boy version. How am I doing this? So many vials now. 56. That's that's that'll that'll buy you a couple of extra lives. a new weapon. Dude, that is cool. I did not know that. What else is new in this version? That's crazy. From the Wikipedia, this port was an enhanced version of the original title containing two new action stages. Uh, a cave in the northern part, another cave in the desert oh, where uh, the dragons dwell. Or, or Dargon dwells. Man. So it is different. Okay, I, didn't, I did not know that. That's so cool, man. Jeez. I wonder uh, how much... Oh, make me exercise? Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, no, no I'm wearing my... I was going to do... Do dog lifts. Oh, dog lifts? Yeah, lift your dog lifts. Give me a lift. Oh, he does not want dog lifts. Everyone grab your dog. One. Two. <laughs> three. Four. Five. Yeah. You will notice on his face, he does not have a tick. He's a piece of lettuce. No. Okay. I just saw that. Okay, you can go. Hold on. Alright. Do some, like, actual exercise. Got my free weights right here, so let's do some. I like it's perfect to do the shoulder presses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <clears throat> cute doggo. He is a cute doggo. Thank you, Casey, for making me do that. Anyway, what are we doing here? This is a hundred bucks on eBay. Uh, the the uh, Game Boy version or the uh, Nintendo version? I used to have cats. I used to have a dog, but she's passed away last year. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. <sighs> Launchpad had that tick. Um, we're gonna have to see in a month or two uh, if the, any, any tick-borne illnesses uh, start to arise. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, I think when we got the tick taken off uh, because of COVID-19, you know, I wasn't able. We weren't able to be in the room with them when they actually removed it, and I think they just strapped them to a table and just kind of. Did what they had to do would probably scare the shit out of them, so. Uh, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. Oh, shit! Ah. 
Get out of here, bonefish. You don't make any sense. Oh my god, really? Okay. Ooh, I want that heart. Feeling good about that one. Oh. Oh, I thought that was an item. I got I got bamboozled. to get off of a wall without jumping. Wait, never mind. There is. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I didn't know that. Panicked. And here we are. I don't recall the boss for this area being particularly difficult. I think I can't kill that. But having only two hits could be an issue. why this part of the game kind of sucks because you backtrack all the way back here um, I keep all of my items and stuff yeah I got the candle I got the night drop but we have to cross like two bridges of fire to get back up to where we are and that one Bridge of Fire, which is a pain in the ass jump. And that this happens so early in the game, I think, is like... It kind of sucks. But now we are just got ducats. And so we can, uh... Sell... Our... Vials and get... What the hell is that guy? But we can load up on uh, extra lives not be in that situation again. Do, do, do. Is it this place? Is it this big table place? Yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. So that's 30 bucks down, that's 45 bucks down. And there's nothing else in this game you can spend your currency on. At least it wasn't in the NES version. Hey, look at that! Seven extra lives, and I am flat broke! Now we're ready to, to, to fucking kill it. Because I could have totally taken that boss if I had a few more hits. Graphics in this game are crazy bland, which is a shame. It's supposed to be in color, so... Uh, keep in mind, this is, yeah, it, it, they look they look about the same as they do on Nintendo, but there's... It's, all, it's only black and white here. I think this game looks fantastic on the Nintendo. It's also much bigger uh, uh, screens, pullback. Um, so I don't, I mean, maybe, yeah, this version is not that... I 
thought it was a Game Boy Color game too, but uh, my, both my emulators on my two computers just defaulted this to uh, black and white. So I'm not really sure what the uh, what to do. I'm pretty sure this is a, a clear Game Boy Color game cartridge, so it's like Game Boy Color only. And I'm playing this on a Game Boy Advance emulator, so I thought for sure that we I'd be solid, but I don't mind the graphics. This game looks hard, but you know what else is choosing a game for the summer Steam Summer Sale? I got a big ass list. <laughs> I got that email this morning and was like, oh, hey, a bunch of games that I've been had my eyes on. Earth Defense 5, yes. That is the game you buy. And a couple of new Earth Defense Force games coming out, too. New EDF, new Pokemon Snap. God, did something up. Grace, did something else crazy get announced this week too? Pokemon Snap, EDF. Skateboard. That's what it was. Yeah, that skate. Was that skate. Wait, Still. Wait, wait, wasn't it last week? I don't. The concept of time to me has been very, very loose lately. But like, yeah, man. Skate. EDF, Pokemon Snap, it's good shit. I think there's a couple other things that have been happening. It's like I don't even remember. Okay, see, there's 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 the trick. Is to, to piece mill your jump. No. Oh yeah, and Crash 4? You know what, you know, I'm gonna hit it with a save state. Hit it with a save state again. Five lives, okay, I'll be good. Man, I just, I just like killed that the first time. I wasn't even thinking. Like when I first came in here, I was just like, oh, this is the hard jump. I didn't I didn't even think to plan for it. Got cocky. Oh, what is it? Oh, I didn't try the homing? Oh, I didn't even try the I forgot I forgot that I got the homing weapon at the secret dungeon. I need to try that. Thank you for making YouTube videos. Your wheelchair sitting life entertaining. I, just, I said before, there, there's a lot going on in this world right now. I do not have the answers. But if I can give you a moment of reprieve from that, then uh, I'm emboldened by what I do. Actually, I'm going to run to the bathroom before I take on this dungeon. So I'm going to be right back in just like two seconds.
Okay. Do you want me to not mute it? No, why not? Don't, no, don't mute it. Don't mute it. Okay. Hey! I'm back! What's going on, everybody? I got a sub while I was in the bathroom? Thank you. What? I got a couple of subs. Oh, man. Thank you, Shady86 and Chrono43. Appreciate that. Tell you what, we're going to have a treat for you. Uh, I'm going to be sitting here right now in front of you uh, playing, you know, Gurkle's Quest 2. Grace wants to play Ring Fit. She's like, I want to play Ring Fit, and that's going to be happening behind us. Uh, she's like, should I turn it down? And I was like, nah. So you're going to be probably hearing uh, Grace play Ring Fit and maybe see her a bit through uh, this wall here. This is just a, a shelf, by the way. My apartment's coming. Our apartment's pretty small. Which, by the way, we are moving to a bigger apartment next week. Oh, my God. Cannot wait for that. Thank you for the cheer. Oh, and, and an, an anonymous cheerer. Gift reward of uh, five others in the chat. Thank you. 10 out of 10 p.m. Yeah, I needed to happen. Oh, man, thanks for all, the, all, all these new tier one subs. Hello. Oh, thanks, anonymous cheerer. More like anonymous subber, am I right? Damn. Well. I'm about to dom these subs. I'm gonna. I'm about to show them what. I'm gonna show them what domination is really all about. When I fucking destroy this level with my homing. Uh, I got. I got my homing now, which I got from like the secret level, the new level I've never played before. This, this makes it a lot easier. So while I play Gurgle's Quest 2 here, look forward to hearing Grace play Ring Fit behind me. Oh, that's right, you can't! Break those, you cannot uh, latch onto them. Hmm, I think because the homing on this kind of sucks, I don't know if this is necessarily going to make this game all that much easier. <laughs> we will see. Yeah, like, like, like that bullshit. Okay, all right. I don't know about this homing thing. Wait, do I even need to go up here? I can probably just hang down here, huh? Just skip all this crap. Oh, probably shouldn't touch that though. Look at this fucking guy. Oh, you see those dodges? These jukes? God damn. Dodge that shit like the Matrix. Oh, so nice right now. God damn. How does he do it? Be a huge nerd and play old video games so well. On the internet, too. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, never the same. <laughs> totally unique. Amazing show stopping. I'm referencing a dumb thing on TikTok, by the way. Which I know sounds like a redundant phrase, but let's just move on. Ah! Oh. Oh, I got hit there last time. Improvement. Upgrade. Try this with the homing uh, weapon. Oh, 
Oh, I can hit him off screen. Nice. Hey! Didn't even need all those extra lives. Awesome. Where do I, where do I go? Don't wanna go, don't wanna go in here? Okay. I obtained the gremlin stick from the bottom of the desert. It's looking very powerful. God, getting so buff, man. Magic tornado? How can I get buffer? Firebrand finds a way. All right. Oh, that might have been the anonymous gifter. Gave you that. One trick gaming. Someone just came in here and just like made it rain with uh, gifts. I just hear about Derek getting fluffer? No. Make me exercise? All right. Let's see. Uh, we'll do the big one this time. Let's see. This is a good exercise that you can do. I think I did this last time, but like, on the edge of a chair, this is good for your triceps. Do it like this. Get a big, big one, big heavy weight. Just go with that. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This chair is actually not the best for exercising on the so. form is not fan not, not not fantastic. But there you go. That was me exercising. Oh well, look at Firebrand just sitting down chilling. Thank you for redeeming your your bones. Always stay hydrated, though. Whoa. Let's try that again. Oh, that's... That sucked. That's not fun. Well, if I die, then I'll just go back to the beginning. But I'll have fewer lives, so I'm gonna try not to die. Shh. Oh, oh, you can't wait. You can jump on the sides of some of them. Weird. The fuck you. <laughs> Much easier on the dismount. Okay. It's coming back a lot easier. Everyone's exercising. Oh, yeah. Can you hear uh, Grace is doing ring fit? Also, my hair is like looking weirdly fantastic right now, even though I'm like really sweaty and kind of gross. I'm getting that like. Look, look. I got this like solid pompadour. Like, yeah. <laughs> the trick is to not wash your hair that often. <laughs> She's running in the background. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. Uh, starting next week, we will be living in an apartment, or we can move into an apartment. It's right before the Fourth of July holiday, so we'll figure out the logistics of it. But anyway, we'll have we'll be in a two-bedroom apartment, have a proper office space and a living room. So, you know, if I want to be streaming in the office, Grace can be playing Ring Fit in the living room clear on the other side of the apartment. Super excited about that. Getting a bigger apartment. I've been doing this YouTube thing for a couple of years. Uh, 13 of them. 13 years, it turns out. Uh, never had a proper office. <laughs> Ever. It's always had my computer just in a living room or a bedroom. So. Cannot wait. <laughs> Let's 
See more stuff from the anchor storage. Man, the anchor storage is done. I cleaned that shit out earlier this year. But uh, I will be, I will be able to actually have kind of like a game room. Oh shit! Oh, thank you for hitting me. Yeah, I hope to have be able to kind of display more of it. I did have to rent out a storage unit actually in the building we're living in. Um, we'll have uh, multiple bedrooms, multiple closets. Here, here's here's the, the situation though. We um, have not seen the apartment yet because of uh, COVID-19. Uh, they were not holding open houses. So I don't even know what our apartment looks like. I mean, I've seen the floor models. There's like a 3D camera um, on their website. Uh, they told me that it actually is a refurbished unit. Um, they knocked a couple hundred bucks off of uh, like the move-in fee and the, or the, uh, the you know the, like signing fee and leasing fee and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> but we actually haven't gotten in there and. I don't really have a, a, I don't have a strong enough idea in my head that I would like <laughs> for how our new apartment looks, even though we put ink and paper and, you know, all that stuff, so. I think you've been following a good chunk of those 13 years. <sighs> thank you. That's so wild to hear. Um, yeah, thank you. I like try not to think too much about that honestly but I do appreciate it so much thank you so much anyway we are gonna use the stick of gremlin uh, uh wow I can move my body works thank you I have to shit so bad <laughs> I'll give you my power Ka! now firebrand can jump higher than ever let's break the barrier and go to the king's palace Firebrand goes to the king's palace immediately. Okay. Cool. Do I have... I don't have any other... Uh, three. That's not bad. I still have five lives. Not bad. Let's get a password. There's the password. Write it down. I can't remember how you found me, but you were already there when Silius and Spiderhouse videos came out. That's like, those are my second and fourth videos ever, so that's that's 2007 shit right there. Is it a re Furby shed appointment apartment? I I hope I do I do know I cannot confirm or deny uh, that there are Furbies. I hope there are not Furbies. The long lost cart for Furby land on the game com might just be sitting in the middle of our kitchen like a curse. Now, how you doing, Daisy? It's good to see you in the chat. Our wonderful uh, editor is uh, hanging out with us. And Grace is playing Ring Fit behind me. And don't apologize. They wanted some dumb bullshit. They're getting it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Splatterhouse is great. I agree. You know what? You know what's kind of wild about Splatterhouse? Um, when I did the Splatterhouse 2010 review. All those years ago, I didn't have a 360 yet. I was playing off of a friend's 360. So I only have, like... I haven't, I haven't beaten that game since. So my personal uh, Xbox Live account has, like, no uh, achievements for it. I should play some more of that. Play it on stream, maybe. The King's Palace. I'll leave it to you, Firebrand. Oh, no! What is this this black light? 
What is the speed of dark? Oh shit! Oh my god! Photo finish on that one. Woo! Magic pixel. Drop straight down. Yeah, the screen size difference is, does, does make this a, a different beast, but... Uh, so far, not... Not anything I can't handle. So far, this is a pretty uh, solid port, man. Oh. I'm from the Ghoul Realm. Homing, homing missiles from the fucking gold realm. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing. Get yeah, nothing. Three vials. I take them. While chumps keep walking. Ghoul realm representing. Imported a hey you Pikachu uh, with the mic. And it doesn't understand me. Yeah, I wonder about the uh, English accent. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I had a friend who had uh, Hey You Pikachu. Uh, they bought it at a, at the Babbages of the KB Toys, I forget, for like $10. And um, we speak English. That game was for English-speaking people, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and they could barely understand us. Um, so I don't know if that's really an accent thing. It might just be a, a genuinely Garbo game. <laughs> now Seaman on Dreamcast. That's that's the real it's a game that's a game for real gamers. 100 percent Stop. I want I wanna talk to you. I wanna talk to you. There we go. The King's Palace. Oh. That's cool, mummy. He's shadow boxing. Oh, that's right. I saw the black light cover the king's palace, so I heard something strange. Yeah. Doesn't everyone just say coo 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 in this? Because they're like under a spell or something? Well, I can just say this. Down the password, got it. Got to at least just talk to the guy with the password because that's also your uh, save point or your your respawn point. Okay, no one can talk to me. I gotta find the king here. Kept on calling Pikachu a bell end, and he didn't know what that meant. <laughs> I would imagine most Yanks don't even know what a bell end is. But I've I've seen uh, what was that? The Ali G show where he explained it one time. What's the hurry? The black light? What's that? I don't understand what you're talking about. Nothing to worry about. Go back. Uh, something's up, King. I oppose you. It seems I must destroy you. I always thought that was so... After that stupid, long set of, of uh, dungeons and stuff they kind of make you do, the next area is like, nah, just, just a boss fight right away. Just an evil king. Doppelganger king. It's fine. Good change of pace. Oh, lifeline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Or what's the Odama? The 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 pinball real time strategy game for the GameCube that you control with with the microphone. That that game should be its own just episode of Punching Wave. Gua, trying to get that goo up. Anybody over here? Okay. Ali G is so funny. Yeah, that, that, that the Ali G show was fucking great. But I think by the time I saw the Borat movie, I was like, I think I'm pretty good on this dude. All right. Where's the king himself? Go to the northwest, the king's palace, the oldest village in the ghoul realm, called uh, Topeti. To Pete. To Pete. Capital of the Ghoul Realm. Capital City. <laughs> coo coo coo. What is a fire brand? Oh, it's a little pile of secrets. Coo coo coo. But enough coo coo cooing. How about you? Thank you for the bits. You know, every little bit helps. of the ghoul realm is hidden very well. Try searching many places. Thank you. This guy looks like Dr. Wily with a mask on. Or a dog face. Uh, the Achalons? Achalons? Water is said to be hidden somewhere near Mount Imyas. Have you ever heard about the essence of the ghoul realm? No. Why don't you try it, Firebrand? The vitality increased. You see, huh? All right, cool. Thanks. Thanks, bro. What a bro. I've been studying the essence of Soul Stream for many years. It can recover your vitality to the maximum. These materials are very rare. I need, uh... Achalons? 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 Water. Achalons water? I don't know. And the Dagon's scale. Oh, Zai was saying that the other hidden, or not the hidden, but the other new dungeons is by, is by that, by Dagon. <laughs> Dagon a typo? I, I would imagine, you know, and this is the ghoul realm, dragons must exist here. And they've existed for so long that eventually the dragons came to Ellis Island and then they changed their name. Or you know, they went to ghoul realm, Ellis Island, and changed their name. I don't know. That's too good of a disguise for Wily. I think in the uh, the Nintendo version, there's some scientist-looking dudes that look an awful lot like Dr. Wily. A long time ago, it was said that only the bravest man in the ghoul realm was allowed to go to the palace of uh, Imas. Only the buffest gargoyles. And I'm the buffest. The buffest gargoyle. Is Mr. X Wily? No. Because if Mr. X was Wily, Wily wouldn't have to make robots to just punch Mega Man really hard in the face. Mountain. Okay. But no one tries to go there. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and go there. Watch me. I like this game only has like three, four interiors that are used for all the common structures of the, of the game. I saw for sure the black light was going towards that place. All right. Well, let's, let's fucking skedaddle on over there. Oh, you're thinking Mega Man 6 is Mr. X. Oh. Wasn't it actually revealed to me, Wily? Because... 
I don't... I don't know. I'm definitely of, of, of the mind that... Mega Man's 1, 2, and 3 are superior to 4, 5, and 6, so I'm not as that familiar with them. Is this the other new uh, dungeon? This looks kind of like a different dungeon. That's... What? This, okay, this is a new dungeon. Because I just... The floor turned in to spikes and all swapped out all the spikes for normal floors oh, man. I did not know about these extra dungeons this is so fucking cool oh thank you for the follow by the way Saku Yai's best name Whirlwind thing? I do have the whirlwind. Do the whirlwind. Squish. is the buffest gar I wish I was the buffest gargoyle. Fortunately, I think Firebrand is a little more buff than me. Oh, poop. Poop from a butt. Okay, here we go. Let's get my tornadoes. Don't, don't even do any damage. Okay. I thought they did a little damage. Actually, you know, it's my homing missiles. Oh, not that far. Sixteen. Okay, not that many. Whoa! Oh. Get this one with singles. Okay. So this is my very first time ever going through this dungeon. not played a new section of this game Man, since I first played this game ever. These switches are kind of cool, but this level's kind of Kind of weak otherwise, I'm feeling like. Just got these two enemies. That's basically it. projection so uh, does that mean I can warp to places now is it a tool oh. <laughs> 
All right. I don't see that anywhere on the screen, so. I don't know, weird. So basically, Mega Man's 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, and 11 are... It's clear, cut, Wily's the villain. <laughs> he wasn't clear, cut, the villain in uh, 9. They started going crazy. He didn't know why all the roles are going crazy. However, 4 is the one where he tricks Dr. Cossack into becoming an accomplice of his evil, evil schemes. Yeah. An astral projection technique that can be used... Uh, to briefly scout out the area around Firebrand? Is that the ability to, like, look down and, like, scroll the screen a little? Like, the thing that, like, fixes this game <laughs> from having been on the Game Boy? Look at this incomprehensible thing. Who are you? I can't... I don't know. Can I just astral project behind him? Can I come from here? Yeah, okay. So it's gotta go north, east. Huh. I'll take it. What up? Man, I'm just chilling the fuck out on this Friday. Which one should I do first? Hmm. I like I like the sound. I like the look of this one. Whoa! If I hit select, that's what, dude. Get out of here. I'm astral projecting. Oh, this is, wait, this is like a real ass level, isn't it? It's so fucking cool. Look at this. project here I can hey you definitely could not do this in the Nintendo version but you didn't really need to look at this cool mummy looking or genie looking uh, firebrand whoa 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 look out for that fire whoa bro okay. oops that's not gonna work I don't know why I thought that was going to work. That's not how the... This game works at all. There is a level that has these statues. I thought it was like a, a real level with like its own music. Not like just a reused of, uh, of like the bonus or the extra stage. Oh, shit. Take it. There's nothing up here, though. Fuck. <laughs> Complete waste of time. Oh my gosh. So much more wing of strength, though. I can get around much better now. Shoot. Well, shoot. Firebrand can't actually touch fire. I mean, it's just a name. Still like a flesh and blood gargoyle. I mean, you can call yourself I'm um, the battle axe, but still succumb to battle axes. You know, it's like it's 
It's all about, like, instilling fear in your enemy, you know? It's all about your legacy. I mean, no one's gonna talk about, like, oh man, the Allen. No, it's fucking Firebrand. Watch out. Gotta give yourself an awesome name. Hey, alright. I got. Oh, I got the water. Okay, cool. Uh. Why do I need the water? People were talking about the water. I totally forgot what I needed the water for. Oh, well. How am I doing on? Got three lives, 20 non vials. Let's just keep moving forward. Mm. Can I leave and come back and like pull the. Alright, we got we got crank. This 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 track right here is some fire. solid version of the song. It is missing the percussion. The soundtrack is... I mean, you play as Fire Brand, but the real fire is the goddamn soundtrack. Oops, let's stop. There's probably nothing up here, but I'm doing it. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Gotta, gotta... Wait, can I astral project? Oh, I can do it in the middle of this? Oh, sweet. Nothing up here, okay. Okay, let's go down to here. And no items down there, cool. Sounds good. Oh, that, I, for, I, I forgot what button to push. That's what they get for playing on a thing that is not an NES pad. Oh shit. Oh, fuck you, B. Gotta keep moving forward. Nine, I think the original, any the, the Nintendo game was ninety three. I think this was a couple years after that. This was like ninety seven or something weird like that. But I could be wrong. But yeah, I do know this. This is a Japanese only. So I do not know exactly when it came out. All I know is I never saw it. I never had it as a kid. And that sucked. Though I do like how the second power up is basically. This is just a thing that lets you navigate the screen because it's the Game Boy is so much smaller than the NES. I've seen the lack of uh, screen size done much worse. You know, um, and last week we played some uh, Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy uh, Color, and I would say that was that was not a successful venture on that. Holy shit, that was an incredibly difficult and frustrating game. And I was thinking that, like, Mario Bros. Deluxe on Game Boy Color also has problems with the screen being too small. Um, but you can do a little bit of scrolling. You can kind of look up and down. Does, they did try to mitigate it a bit. Donkey Kong Country, on the other hand, was just, like, fucking really, really bad. I really got to go over there? What's over there? Wait, what's up? Wait, why would I go over there? Why would I go through the trouble of going over there? Hold on a second. Project. 
I wonder if you could abuse the astral protection projection for like boss fights and other runs and stuff. Oh boy. Oh no. That's not what I want. It's the opposite. So if you cannot latch onto the side, it is a false. Okay. I feel like I'm using this too much now. But I need to use it again. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, all right. Boss time. Two lives. Okay, I'll probably take this first hit. Oh, that's... It's easier to grab on the side of those in the uh, Nintendo version, but uh, maybe I'm mistaken. These guys not like show like fireballs or nothing. Oh, okay. Whoa! You were blowing up. You can't hurt me. It's not fair. This is before the requisite video game thing where if you ever have a, a twin enemy, when you kill the first one, the other one always gets really angry and gets more, gets their health back or something like that, becomes a different form. Back in my day, old games, when you had two bosses, and you killed the first one, they just, you just kept going, nothing changed. I obtained. Candle of Poltergeist. Whatever the hell that is. Alright. Uh, uh. I got the candle. My magic's coming back to me. The King of Destruction took me by surprise and sealed my magic. But nobody knows who the King of Destruction is. I suggest you see a great old man named Leaf. Leth. Leva. Elva. Uh, he lives in the labyrinth to the north of the village of Tepeat. He knows something about the king. I'll give you my power. <laughs> it jumps so fucking high. God. Just, God. Buffest. Buffest gargoyle. If anybody, everybody, anybody is watching right now, if you, if you don't know how to draw, draw me a buff gargoyle. We'll see just like ripped jumping super high through this room just feel like that firebrand just like it's so so buff like walks around with his arms out to here just because he's got just so buff that's what i imagine firebrand is right now you like he can't get any buffer and he always does how's he do it he focuses Focuses on getting buff. Always. Non-stop. Focuses on feeling good, Jerry. No, he's just getting buff. Maintaining mental health. Being Buffness is a state of mind, alright? First you gotta get your mind buff, and then the body gets buff too. Oops. Oh gosh, this is going great. Hey, first try. <laughs> Everybody hydrate. That's how that's how you get buff. Six vials. Man, I've only played this game for like two hours. I feel like I am way further than I would normally be like. Especially because I, I, when I, 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 the fact that I have not played this game in a long time. 
just project ourselves. Yeah, and that says everyone hydrate. Everyone, go go to the kitchen, get yourself a glass of water. Man, I'm so buff. God. These buff legs jumping super high. It's not even like my wings got stronger. The legs are stronger. It's like... Fiber can squat like crazy. Do deadlifts. Hella squats. We don't want that. Water equals buff. It's, I mean, you don't got weights. Lift water, bro. Like water. I actually need to give these weights back when we move out. Uh, and I, in anticipation for that, have bought some orange juice. Uh, in like a gallon uh, in gallon containers so that I can fill them with uh, water and I'll work out with them. Maybe one day soon I will be able to go back to the gym. I don't know if I will even want to go back to the gym. <laughs> if the gym opened up right now, I'd be like, I don't know. Oh, is this the cool... Oh, I love this level. This is the cool maze level that basically has no enemies. Ooh. This song, this song doesn't sound that great. This is a good song, otherwise I feel like... So far, I've really liked the soundtrack, but I feel like this song, not quite nailing it on the Game Boy here. These crystal, does this crystal dude shoot at you or anything? It is blink, and they got like a attitude problem. <laughs> just like got the, just, just mean mugging you. Those dudes are all right. Those dudes are all right. All right, our first fork in the road. Just go left. Oh, shit. Project like to places you shouldn't be able to get to. Huh. Stairs in diamond. <laughs> Got that gower. Got that glare. Just a just a, 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 a bunch of diamonds with a fucking attitude problem. It's my fault you're just like in this dungeon. It's still shiny though. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you have to be so glum about? <laughs> blink, blink. Oh, let's go in here. Ah, shit. Let's try that. 
Oh, I see the differently colored one now. Okay. Huh. It's probably one of these. There's a lot of doors in here. Is this going to repeat forever? Okay. What if I astral project up here? What's up here? Just go in. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's go in here, I guess. It won't let me go in there. Okay. Oh, that was the wrong one. from being this big. This looks familiar. This might be it. It'd be wild if I pick the right mirror every single time. Damn! All right then. This boss is really hard, though. Oh, good, they slowed him down. Yeah, the problem with this boss on the NES version is he just like will move super, super fast. That was really his only big move was just like he would just swoop at you. I think he's a doppelganger, so if I shoot him while I while he is fire run, I, I take damage. I think that's that's his gimmick. Oh shoot. Hey. Sloppy, but first try, he'll take it. Cruising through this game, damn. I've been expecting you to come, Firebrand. You are the chosen one. The old legend of the Ghoul Realm, listen up. When the Ghoul Realm is covered with the black light, it will bring death and destruction. But there is one hope the Red Gargoyle. He will turn uh, into the Red Blaze and seal that black light. This is the music that plays in the uh, the scroll for uh, the first Gargoyles quest. It's a fun throwback. Oh, Firebrand! It is Goza, who is trying to destroy the Ghoul Realm. He is trying to free the King of Destruction, Brieger, who can destroy the whole world, Gaza. Crevasse overflowed with the black light, and Brieger's palace began to appear. Firebrand go to Loose Keep and ask the king and queen to put their power into this candle. Firebrand obtained Let's Leith's candle. Everyone get all that? It's a lot going on here. Holy shit! Seeing Derek in tank top feels weird. It's hot. All right, it is hot today. Drink water. Do I want to know the password? I do. I should probably hit myself with a safe state here, because we are really far in this game. Just bop, take that. To reach Loose Keep, you have to go through Naga's path southeast of this palace. Several entrances in Naga's path lead to Loose Keep. Okay. So where the hell am I now? Can I astral project around here? So I think I'm kind of near the end of the game. There's uh, only a couple more levels, I'm pretty sure. But you know what? It is, uh... 
I've been streaming for two hours. Let's just chat for a little Let's just hang out and chat. Um. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? Just make sure I have to go full mental and go naked. No. I'm not going to go half naked. Uh, nobody wants to see that. And make, me, make everyone more sweaty. Um, <laughs> yo, it has been a month. The month of June has been a hell of a month um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, but I'll just say it's been a month for uh, for us. Man, we got the... Uh, we had a new video out last week. And we have a new videos on our Patreon right now that's coming out next week. And then uh, I was actually a little fashionably late to this stream. Because uh, I was working on a script for another video. So we got... Uh, we got you locked down. We got you set on videos. And also, next week, uh, we are moving to a new apartment. Well, so the lease on a new apartment uh, is starts on the 30th, next Tuesday. But then our lease here, we have a couple weeks here, actually, still. So there's a little overlap. And with the 4th of July holiday, I don't know how much driving and moving I want to be doing right now. Uh, but it's gonna be kind of touch and go with streams on uh, next week for you know We usually we stream on Wednesday and Fridays and it's gonna be a little um It's gonna be a little uh I'm we're not exactly sure what's gonna happen with the move because uh, we haven't even seen the place yet Because of COVID-19 we can't even have uh, an open house. So we're gonna have to kind of just really play it by ear Just a little touch and go uh, well, we're still we're not moving far. It's just a couple miles, but um, it's still gonna be yeah. It's, we got some stuff to move, you know, and it's gonna be a bigger apartment, uh, like about 300 square feet more. Um, still not gigantic, but like it's gonna be a, a, a noticeable uh, improvement. And we really hope that uh, it'll be a um, a good move for us, like mentally, because we'll have the spare bedroom. We'll have a um, an office space and you know working from home is uh, something that we have definitely gotten good at but the fact that like you know, that's that's grace is playing ring fit in the living room that is just behind me behind my wall of games here this is just this this room is our uh, office living room kitchen um, so it'll be great to have some distance on that so I hope that we'll be able to like be doing more videos and like just kind of be at, at a healthier click. How oh, how was uh how was your ring fit? It was good. Yeah. Can I sit on you? You can. Yes. Okay. Hi. You are sweaty. I'm here too. Yeah. And I'm sweaty. You sweaty. You should. I'm gonna sweat all over Derek, and then yeah. I'm gonna not talk to him for a couple hours. <laughs> how was that ring fit? It was good. Mm. It's been a while. Yeah, you kind of got back into it the last couple of days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, I've been playing it pretty consistently. I feel like this, this whole this time, week, but um, two days ago, I suddenly got this crazy ice cream, like salted caramel ice cream craving, and I haven't been willing to play Ring Fit for two days because of yeah. that. It's also really hard to exercise in an apartment that's already really very, very musky and it's warm, warm in here. Oh. I mean, I was sweaty, but like, girl, you, you like... You want another level got of sweaty. Drip, drip, drip. You got that hella drip, yeah. Drip, drip. That real drip. <laughs> you almost got that drip too. Easy, girl. Um. Oh, and Daisy says hello. Hello. Hi, Daisy. Oh man, so is everybody staying hydrated? I don't know how it, the temperature is where you at, but it looks like it's uh, something about 80 degrees, 82 degrees in here right now. That's good shit. That's not that's not fun. Got a bunch of fans rolling, so. Oh, man. Well, I think I'm about, I'll go here and uh, start my weekend proper. Um, I'm going to have to go to the store and get some beer, because uh, we are, I think, out of beer, which could be a problem. We might be too hydrated. We might be too hydrated, and i got to get... Uh, why don't you tell the, the, the people in the chat, like, what we're going to be playing this weekend? Well, you and I are going to be playing in our personal time? Yeah. Man, I got back into Bloodstained. Oh. You're, what do you... Oh. Oh, Grace wants to play Silent Hill Shattered Memories on Wii. Sorry, I was being 
Yeah, Grace was pantomiming, and it's like... But I actually have been playing Blood... I got back into Bloodstained um, when uh, Curse of the Moon 2 got announced. Oh, that was the other game that I was really excited about this week. Yeah. Dude, the last week it's been Skate 4, Crash 4, two EDF games, Curse of the Moon 2... Something else, a lot of good games, got a lot of good uh, game shit was uh, announced this week. Got some glorious AC on. Uh, the way our, uh, we, we have an air conditioner, but it's just like a little, it's a, it's a big unit and our window is actually busted. So we have a, a, a door to a tiny deck that we could use, but we'd have to have that whole thing open. We have, we have exist, the, 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 the problem with the exhaust right now <laughs> is where it is. You should stream the Silent Hill play novel. Has that been translated yet? I was under the impression it has not been, and um, I do not know Japanese like that, so. I don't have AC, but I have a box fan. Yeah, we have a couple of fans running right now. Yeah. Our hallway is uh, air conditioned, so sometimes I'll prop open the door with a fan, and that'll that's a good way to kind of uh, clear out the uh, apartment here a bit. Uh, our, our new apartment is going to be um, on a lower level, and I think we'll be a little cooler. There's more trees and stuff around. We'll see. Yeah. 80 Fahrenheit's only 26. You northern hemispheres. I mean, I'm from, I mean, I'm from Alaska. Like, what do you want from me? Like, I'm not trying to tell you anything that ain't. That ain't just, it's all me. Come when you get to around 90. I mean, it's been 90 like outside. I'm saying it's like 80 inside of here, inside of our apartment. Oh, it has not gotten 90 outside there. Not this, not this uh, uh, year, but it has. I mean, and, yeah. It's, it's, it, it's gotten there. The world, it has been 90. No, in Seattle. Oh, okay. Whose side are you on? Grace always busting my balls over here. <laughs> Man. It's going to be 60 degrees. It's the high tomorrow. It's going to be way cooler. The problem is, is that this, this building's kind of new, and they built it to be like extra... Uh, insulated because it does get kind of chilly ish in the winter time it does rain a lot but it definitely gets it, it, it's it's i think it gets hotter than um anybody was anticipating and that was kind of a problem with living in alaska is like if it ever got to like 80, 80 degrees 80 degrees was like so terrible because everyone there's no air conditioning nobody has a lot of fans everyone's got heaters and everything is like all windows are like tri triple triple pane Everything is super insulated, so it's all relative. All the whole family. That's true. Grace, get in here with that with that dog. Get in here with this dog. I'm afraid I'm gonna knock out the Ethernet port if mm -hmm. I scoot over too much. But here you go. Okay, then give me that dog. The other thing that's happening is the video that's on Patreon is basically made entirely of footage from the streams we've been doing the last couple of weeks. Yes, years. Gamecom, amazing Gamecom ports uh, video up right now on Patreon, and it is. Uh, we, we, we cropped out the webcam and stuff like that, but all of the gameplay footage was actually captured on the live streams here. It's called mm -hmm. streamlining. Buddy. Oh, we got a dog. We got this dog. He's so warm. Oh, he's so good in the wintertime when it's cold, but not so much in the summertime when it's hot. One thing I like about this dog is that he is very fussy about the weather in a way that I can really relate to. You mm -hmm. know, if it's raining, he just won't go outside. Like, oh. You you just said the word. I said the word. <laughs> Y'all notice how he suddenly, like, <laughs> looked really sharply that way? Watch this. Chicken! <laughs> Grace, stop doing that. <laughs> Unless you're gonna... No, not yet, I'll buddy. Treats? Don't get him some... <laughs> now you, now you have to get him some treats. Him some treats. You can't just do that. He yeah. Stay SpongeBob Balfour Bikini Bottom rehydrated. Yes. I love cold. Give me negative ten Fahrenheit anytime. I will say the the advantages of cold is uh, if you are cold, you can just dress better. You can put on a hat, gloves, coat, that type of thing. Um, if you are out of focus, what's going on? What's going on? What are you doing to me? This camera decided to be completely out of focus. There we go. If you're too hot, you just like, I don't know, wear less clothing and try and get out of the hot. But I lived in Alaska for 30 years. I did my fucking time. 
Don't talk to me about cold weather. I've done it. I don't need. I don't need any more of that in my life. Tank tops are rad, though. Thank you. They're they're very comfortable. They're nice to wear. Dad always told me that you can always put on more clothing to warm up. You don't want to take off so much. Yeah. And that's good advice because, honestly, uh, putting on more clothing, if, if, if there's advice you're going to be in cold weather, you want layers. You don't want to wear a thick-ass parka because if it gets, if you get too hot while it's, if you overdress for the cold, you will sweat, and that sweat will freeze and then you'll be colder so it's good to put a t-shirt on and then like a hoodie and then like a jacket that type of thing layers legend says the derek has the power of transforming into a snow golem not anymore <laughs> Man, in my when i was younger i was a teenager uh, i worked uh, outside in a lumber yard for two winters um, that sucked. <laughs> and then three summers, too, which also was not fantastic. South Brazil right now, and it is 48 Fahrenheit. That's only the first day of cold weather. Pretty strange. It's been kind of a strange year for us, too. Um, it's, I, I feel like it's, June has been kind of a hot month. But, like, May and April were really cold. And even, like, this... This was like back and forth. We, like Grace and I had to break out the fans, um, only for the last like week or two. Uh, this 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 summer so far and last summer was actually pretty temperate, but 2015, 16, 17, and 18 were all like blockbuster summers of insane heat, uh, at least for me that I was not a fan of. Blabler, thank you for the support, man. How's that Crash Bandicoot 4? Can you say anything? We are, we are uh, graced with the presence of, um, I believe, uh, the creative director and driving force of Crash 4. Is that what's going on? You probably can't say anything. I'm just kidding. Uh, like, yeah, blink, blink twice if that Crash 4 is gonna be awesome <laughs> just a QA tester yeah I know I know my box fan works really well yeah I've got a fan right here so like pointing directly at me I don't sleep well I'm really I'm really kind of sensitive to pressure or to, 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 uh, to temperature so like if I'm too hot I cannot sleep just can't um, I'm like a furnace like I'm no fun I'm no fun to snuggle with at night sorry Start getting sleepy, I'm just like, the heat comes off, I can't really handle it. I'm just sensitive. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're, you're a sensitive QA tester, so you'll be sensitively... So, I mean, that means if, if, if Crash Bandicoot 4 comes out, and it's bad, like, I'm blaming you specifically. only person hotter than the heat is the streamer or you know it's fun is uh the internal temperature of a dog is like 101 degrees um so we'll i can tell if launchpad is on the bed and he's getting really sleepy uh or he is asleep i can just he also starts to radiate heat uh he is good for the cold days for the winter days but for right now he just get the hell off that bed dog you, he's got his own bed <laughs> can't be having that right now human space heater grace's feet get so cold sometimes and i gotta i gotta bear the brunt of that it's what it's, it's, what it's like it's, it's tough for us out here it's tough out here sometimes you gotta be the, the, the sole feet warmer Alright, well I think on that note, 
it is time to oh I hope Crash 4 and Souls Storm turn out really well. I think that I think people oh god. Some people were getting upset that Crash 4 is probably gonna be a full um sixty dollar game. And just cause like the, the insane trilogy was a forty dollar game, but judging by that that trailer, man, that looks like a full ass game. So such a full ass game, my camera goes out of focus. So I don't know, I'm really excited about that. Especially because of returning to like the like corridor style of Crash Bandicoot. Uh, which was always something they had to do because it was a PlayStation 1 game, early PlayStation 1 game. And they just had to really like narrow the focus of it. And so uh, it was a, a pragmatic solution to having an early 3D game, but like you don't have that problem anymore. But wasn't that really the issue with a lot of the other Crash Bandicoot games? Like post 3, because they were kind of more Spyro, uh, Mario, kind of like more open uh, Crash Bandicoot games. They were l less about the, 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 the corridor. And so doing the corridor stuff for Crash 4 might be a, a smart move. People bugging that Link's Awakening was 60 bucks. I feel like that's a... That's just Nintendo never charges less than 60 for a Mario or a Zelda game. That's just... like I think for Black Friday this year, uh, or last year, I managed to get um, Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild on Switch. I think they were 35 bucks a piece. And I was like, felt like I got away with robbery. It was like, I cannot believe I'm buying new, a new Mario game. Still technically the newest Mario game. And I didn't, and it wasn't 60 bucks. It was insane. Everybody hydrate. Get some water. It's 10.30 here. It is 7.30 here. And I think I'm going to start my weekend. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Uh, yeah, man, new video out just a couple days ago. New video coming uh, next week, or you can watch that new video right now on our Patreon. And uh, yeah, man, this was uh, this is also wrapped up the game month for June, um, which we are still uh, arguing in the uh, Discord about what we are going to do for July. So uh, if you are part of our uh, Patreon, part of our Discord, uh, jump in the game uh, club chat, and uh, just yeah, we'll argue about what we're gonna do in uh, July. Um, again, we are. We are moving on Tuesday, which means the streams for Wednesday and Friday are up in the air. I cannot confirm or deny that they're going to be happening next week. So keep uh, at us on Twitter. That's where you'll be seeing the updates. But um, even if you can't catch the streams, man, we got new videos coming next week. Uh, and then, yeah, we, 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 have a, we have a little bit of a buffer for new videos. So there should not be too much of a downtime with the, uh, with the move. Anyway. Good night, everybody. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Stay safe. Uh, if you have a, 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 have a pet, pet that pet. Love that pet. Um, and you know what? I will see you all again real soon. Good night.